how close is too close to a black hole? That depends on the black hole's mass. The famous spaghettification happens when tidal forces stretch you lengthwise because your feet are undergoing more force than your head, essentially tearing you apart. But here's the twist, you are actually safer near bigger black holes. That's because tidal forces depend on how quickly gravity changes over distance. For a small, stellar mass black hole, the gravity gradient gets extreme miles away, shredding you long before you reach the event horizon. But around a supermassive black hole, like the ones at galactic centers, the horizon is so huge that gravity's change over your body length is gentle. You could cross it without even feeling a tug, as your whole body would experience about the same tug. Now, as to why we would do this, one of the best ways to speed up, slow down, or change direction with minimal fuel use is to slingshot or use the Oberth effect to steal a bit of momentum from a massive object. The bigger and denser it is, the closer you can get and the more energy you can rob. Stars aren't very practical for this because you get fried millions of miles away. But black holes have the same mass packed into a tiny space, letting you safely swing by a thousand times closer. So while it's unlikely you'd ever accidentally stumble across a black hole, they're not that hard to spot, they might become major hubs of interstellar travel someday, with ship captains trying to cut as close as possible for maximum velocity gains. And undoubtedly, some will overdo it and learn about spaghettification firsthand.